Okay, so now we show you how to play stun follow shot well, consistently well. I will play. Uh, I will show you how to play a shot when the, you make a stun follow just slightly, then a little bit more and a little bit more. So first I will play stun stop follow shot and leave cue ball here. Then I will play the same shot and leave cue ball around here. And then first shot I will leave here. And as an uh, intermediate advanced player, you have to know exactly why you do that and how to achieve that. So first I will talk about technique and second I will show, tell you about the shot. How to stay with the shot. Okay, so to play stun follow shot, you need to play slightly more than medium power and you need to aim around the cue ball center, around this area here. Don't play too high or too low, because if you play too high, you will create a topspin shot. If you will play too much below, you will stop the shot. And this is no good. So you need to play a center cue ball. So this is the first rule when you're playing a stun follow shot. Second rule is to make sure when, as you do your kid delivery, you're keeping the same uh, kid delivery through the cue ball. So that means if you aim center, you keep center, like that. You don't want to finish too low or you don't want to finish too high because it creates the same effect as I said first uh, on the first two. You, you can create follow too much or you can create too much screw back shot. Okay, so this is the second rule. So always try to keep Q. Uh, always try to keep Q ball to the same aiming line like that. And you will create a stun follow shot. Okay, so now you know first two steps, now we can talk about cue action. So, the last thing what you want to do is to be quick on the shot. You don't want to be rigid, quick, or play too hard. You want to keep about medium to a little bit higher um, pace. And you want to stay still on the shot so you can have more better cue action. So the first shot, I will play the at least possible pace to have a stun follow shot. And I will leap cue around this area here to make a slight stun follow shot. So cue ball will be around this area here. And I'll put less space. And cue ball stop here. Now I will play slightly more power and I will stop the cue ball around this area here. Same principle. As you remember, choke your cue. And more power. And I made position a little bit further away. And the last shot I will make position around here. This is extremely professional shots. Uh, many beginning interior players are just rolling the shot and the uh, table could uh, drove away because of the nap. So if you want to have more control and freedom on different kind of tables, slow tables, fast tables, medium tables, doesn't matter. You can play stun follow shots. And if you can achieve that most difficult shot, if you can teach yourself the most difficult shot in snooker, then you can control cue with much better efficiency. So the last shot, I will play stun follow shot and leave around the black ball area over there. Okay? Okay, so it was almost a top spin shot, but I, it still was a control shot. So this is how you can achieve a better consistency in stun follow shots. Remember, first step, aim center cue ball. Second step, keep your tip to the same line as you do your cue delivery. First uh, tip, stay still on the shot. Fourth tip, uh, change your power. Uh, don't try to be too hard on the shot because it's not good for the cue action and this way you can achieve more consistent result as you play stun, shot, stun follow shot. That's it.